This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hello, hello, it's Echo. Welcome to my glorious channel. This is my friend Chloe. Hello. And today we're gonna be doing some paper crafts. Yeah. So we're gonna be reviewing essentially three main types of paper craft kits. One that is roughly $5, one that is 10, one that is 20. And just in case I'm getting those prices wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they are on the screen. <laughs> So first of all, we'll do the, the most crappy one that I'm not looking forward to. No offense to Quill on. <laughs> yeah, Spirosity. I have no idea. Have you ever seen these? The They're like the little spiral things that people will make art out of. Yeah, I see people make like cards and things. And yeah. it's like, this card is 3D. Won't fit in an envelope, but look how cool it is. This is the baby version of that. It says five plus. You're at least five, right? <laughs> <laughs> So it comes with paper of four different colors, a little spiral boy, a taser, <laughs> and then we've got some cards. Oh, I get it. Oh, I think this goes on the end of it. Pick one. Which one do you want to do? Okay, <laughs> sweet. It also came with instructions, which is nice. Insert the strip into the pin. Oh, okay. And then, it, so like the different, so like there's like a, a stencil size maker for A and B, and since this one says B, it needs to be that size. And then I think you just stick it on there. I'll just, I'll just stick one. Them. Okay, go for it. Just, to see, see, how just it see how it rolls. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's the first one. And I think guess that's all. Ta -da! For that one. Yay! <laughs> Do you want to spin Ooh. the next one? Yeah, sure. So this one looks oh, like okay. you've got to crush them into like little diamonds. Yeah. There's a cat here. Huh? Are you gonna be in the background? <laughs> oh hi, Kiki. <laughs> hi, my baby. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that actually looks. That looks pretty cool. It's like the eye of Agatha. When I was a kid, I was so anti-craft kit because I was just like, real creativity comes from your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm an adult, I'm just like, yeah, therapy. But yeah, this is really cool. And like, I could use this forever. Yeah, like, I wanted like you've, to got, you've just got that make. now. Hey, you would be good at this one. The, the team, hey, you, like, you're, you're inhumanly strong. <laughs> do this. Look at that. Look at what I can do. Yeah, I like that they've given us enough of each color that we can kind of go rogue. Did you ever do Spirograph as a kid? That I could get no, behind. No, what is that one? It's when you had like some cogs. Oh, and, and then, then you, you draw the Yeah! Thing. Yes, I loved those. So good. Did you ever have the one that was like, it, it was a little like round thing and you put your thing and then just put the paint on it and it spins? Yes! Throw the paint everywhere. Yeah, it was like, it was like pottery, but not, <laughs> yeah. Like a potter's wheel, but for paint. So we did a fancy ice cream cone that we, Chloe actually mixed two of the colors together, which looks pretty cool. This one is a barbecue. Which is pretty interesting. So what's this? And one? then we did a pretty patty. <laughs> it's a it's a pretty patty and a shake. It was supposed to be pink. We made it mint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then just like candy. Pretty cool set. I think it's, it's it was an interesting time. It was therapeutic to do. Like yeah. we had a little chat. We, we learned. Could, we were distracted by doing stuff. It was nice. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other cheap one. They're they're oh. cute little animal boxes. That's so cute. They're so adorable. I think they're from Korea. I'm pretty sure. I'll look at the packaging here in a sec. They're very cute. They're like teeny little boxes. Yeah, they're from Korea. They are uh, letter paper squirrels. Everything about it is so simple from like the packaging to just the idea of it. Okay, I, think I like this one. I was gravitating towards this one. It works. So let's see, we've got a little instruction kit that seems pretty pretty straightforward. Um, <laughs> little toes on the bottom. You have little toes on the bottom. You have a little butt. So you write a letter. <gasps> On the inside. Oh my goodness! And then you send it. It's all very, very adorable. It's very adorable. This is so cute. It's like a little letter on the inside, and then an animal on the outside. And then it looks like to make it, you start by folding the two corners inward, and it's all perforated, so it, this should be hopefully idiot proof. And then you fold it up one. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then do you see how it like? Holds. Yeah, I do. It turns into a box. You have to extrapolate a lot of information from between these two points. <laughs> this is where my strengths lie. Or gummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it. Oh wait, do you just fold the thing? I am. I think I'm skipping ahead. Mm -hmm. But look, box. <laughs> oh, I see. So these parts actually go. I did it. That's really cute because then when you when you open it, the first thing you see. Is a heart. Oh, that's so cute. So, you... so these are the, the little boys. Look how cute they are. Do you want to see something even cuter? Butts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're saying butts. <laughs> There's a heart on top. It's all about the butts. butts. <laughs> they have like teeny little feet and then like tails. So this 
pack was I think like four or five dollars, something like that. So it's like a couple dollars for like a really cute little like letter that you can send to friends and then they can fold a little like adorable animal thing. Um, but then they have these ones, oh my gosh. <laughs> which are fruit. <laughs> but this one was like more expensive because it comes with six instead of two. Oh wow. But we can actually use these so I can leave you a yeah. three and then we can write letters to each other. That'd be really nice. And that'll be really adorable and then we can fold up things. Look, you can put stuff these. inside. Or do you want to divide them up now or? No, do you? So we're going to have a look at these little letter boys. Look at the little feet. Oh, they have little feet and little hands. The feet pop out. Oh my goodness. Oh my, look, it's, it's the whole banana boy it's... on the inside. So it's like a little, little letter. So there's the banana. And then like this is the, his little like oh, little box. I think this one's a pumpkin, you know, because look at the Oh, that one is I think that is a pumpkin. Yeah, these are so adorable. They kind of the face design really reminds me of Bemo. He's got a little straw, I think. Maybe he's a coconut. He might be a coconut. Because you could you stick the straw I think you're right, I think he's a coconut. Oh, yeah, that's look at the, cute. Yeah, this one is a little coconut. Fold it up into a little boy and then just leave him on the desk and then it goes from like being a letter to being a decoration. That's clever. It has the inside of the watermelon as the inside. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna give you half. And Yay. then we're just gonna write to each other and send each other wonderful fruits. That's good. And then we can cool. fold them up and set them on our desks and it'll be adorable. You like the coconut? These are the ones you're gonna end up yeah. with. And those are the ones I'm gonna end up with. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm into that. Nice, 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 nice. So the next middle price fancy okay. paper craft that we have is Origami! It's sushi origami. So, <laughs> so we're gonna make a little sushi tray. It's like the it's conveyor belt there. sushi. It is. That's a lot of plates. That That's is a lot of plates. This cool. makes so much more sense now. Okay, cool. And that's right. a bento box. That is a bento box. Okay. Yeah, this one is Japanese. They all like fold together to make. Oh, that's beautifully packaged. <gasps> oh, look at that. Wait, do we have to cut any of these? No. There's. Oh, here. Instructions. Yay. Oh, oh, it's it's tea. Oh, it's the tea cup. It's tea. Okay. I used to work in a sushi restaurant as a waitress, and every time there was a special event, which is almost every weekend, they would want to. They decorated the whole restaurant with origami cranes, uh -huh. but they'd always color code them for the event. So if it was like a hen night, they could request like. Um, pink or purple cranes. If it was a business one, they'd be like grey, <laughs> brown. <laughs> Who would like monochrome cranes, please, for my business dinner? So it meant that we had to change them every week, but it also meant that before our weekend shift, it would be all of the waiters and waitresses got in an hour early before the shift started. And then just for an hour, there was like 12 of us making these really elaborate paper cranes. Okay, so there we've got those. Uh, let's should we try the sushi one coming next? Yeah. Wait. Oh, it was that. It was that. Okay. Sushi. How did you get that for her? I made a sushi. Okay. <laughs> it was a single, single sushi piece in existence. We made one, or I made one, and now I'm gonna show you how to make the other one. And we're rolling. Yay! That took forever. <laughs> it is eight <laughs> hours later. <laughs> yeah. But they look good. They're so cute. I did these ones. Oh, those ones were very impressive. I did these two. Yep. Look at all that sush. That good sush. Oh, those ones are really neat. That dank sush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did most of that off camera because that was an <laughs> event. It's very zen. Yeah, and then the end result is like very satisfying as well. So mm -hmm. you know you're building towards a much bigger project, which yeah. is very cool. Um, and then the one complicated thing I did is the bowl. Yay! The bowl bento box. Yay! Bowl. Okay. Hmm. Well, I want a shrimpy boy. Yes. You gotta have at least one shrimp and one of these. Would you like to put that one in? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. I'll stick that one like right here, I think. I want one of these mm. and. One of these. I like that. Thank you, thank you. I'm a and professional. Then we've got to do this one. Oh, got to. Oops. Wait, I'm going to turn it backwards so that it looks <laughs> better. No one can see the tape no we didn't use. <laughs> um, oh no, the other one that I want is super far away. Can you put in, yeah. Corn egg? Both. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we'll start with some eggy boy. Some egg, and then we'll do this one. Not as crushed. <laughs> there we go. I was gonna go tuna tartar, but ooh, okay. Ooh, yeah, we'll do one tuna. So that there's at least one of each. 
Yay, look how pretty. Oh, then we can have one cucumber roll, one cucumber. Let's see. Look at that. That's we, cute. we actually do have one of everything now. Yeah, look. that's nice. We should all cute roll. It's so cute. We did such a good job. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us. That's a cute. This has been a long day and a long adventure, and there's one more thing that we're gonna do, which was the most expensive one, and I think the one that you're probably gonna like the most out of all the ones. It's a simplistic origami cat. <gasps> but it's, Whoa! it's a scenery sculpture thing, so it's just a, it's what? just a nice little like this is. Ooh, that's it's like a pretty metallic. Yeah, it's like super thick card as well. Is it gonna make us glue it together? It is saying the back requires wood glue. I'm surprised it didn't come with glue. Okay, we're gonna put these in a bag and do this off camera after we get glue, because <laughs> that's gonna take us some time. That's a whole cat. Before we get into all of our final thoughts on all of these projects, I would just like to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community that can empower you to accomplish real growth. It's a platform built by creatives with creative people in mind. Skillshare classes are also broken up into manageable sections so that you can learn at your own pace and around your busy schedule. There's classes for origami, painting, pretty much every art program you could ever think of, Procreate, Clip Studio Paint, Photoshop. I'm about to start going through a class called Concept Art, Drawing Imaginary Worlds by Ira Mark. I'm not that great at drawing backgrounds or coming up with concepts for setting, so I think this class is gonna help. Skillshare is also super affordable, especially when you compare it to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription costs less than $10 a month. And the first 500 viewers to click the link in the description will get a two-month free trial of premium membership, so you can explore your creativity and get on that. Thanks again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this content. I'm really happy with how the cat came out. What is your personal review of the things? Well, okay, now that we've done all of them, pretending we've done the cat, <laughs> now that we've done all of them, this, I think, purely for how detached I could make myself whilst doing it, like we had a nice little conversation, yeah. and then it looks, the end result is really nice, and so the process was not stressful This. For me. When I couldn't figure out what was going on for a bit, I got actively angry. And like, <laughs> Echo was telling me what to do and I wasn't listening, I just wanted everything to shut up. And I was like, no! <laughs> so the process was stressful, but they I were think- They complicated. They were. That, then it became zen, but for a while I was super angry, but it does have the most stunning end result. Yeah, they were very time consuming. Of yeah. all these ones, this one took the most like In terms time. of entertaining kids, if that's kind of what you're looking for. Yeah. That great would be great a value movie. for money. And there, there are multiple versions of this too. Yeah. So you can buy other packs. But on the other hand, I'm probably not gonna put this on my shelf. Yeah. These guys I'm putting on my shelf. So yeah, I don't think there's anything else. We're gonna go get fish and chips and gravy because I'm here in London. I didn't tell anyone I was coming. Do you want to give us some points? Yes. Go ahead. Um, Two hundred and eighty-four. <laughs> I think that's everything, so I think we can just say Hell goodbye yeah. and go get food. Yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, bye! bye.